Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 15th, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, Friday, we did rally quite a bit. And then we basically fell a lot. And then we basically rallied yet again. So we, it was very chaotic on, on, on Friday. However, we, it looks like that the 20 exponential, whoops, the 20 exponential is holding quite well. And that should be a worrying, worrying sign for stocks and commodities and precious uh, metals and so on, because uh, there usually is a negative correlation between the US dollar index and those, uh, those, um, those instruments. So if this continues to rally up towards the 200 moving average, we could see, for example, gold decrease in value and indices getting uh, hit harder and so on. However, if you look at the technical indicators here, they are fairly all over the place. So MACD is still uh, bullish. The stochastic is, is uh, bearish and the CCI is still is uh, playing flat and so is the RSI. So it looks like that the 20 exponential is holding. A break below the 20 opens the door to the 50 here at 90.60 and a break below that opens the door to these very lows. Rally from here, we need to take out the top here in order to go to the 200 moving average. And 200, 200 moving average should offer significant um, support, resistance, sorry. So let's look at oil. And as you can see, we have, we can go and look at the Bulger band for this. So as you can see, we have been barely all over the place uh, uh, last week. We did rally significantly outside here and then broke really hard towards the 20 exponential before rallying yet again. We're trading at 65. So, so uh, long term forecast for this is uh, 85. I have, that is the analysis from Goldman Sachs. Um, and the way that this has been behaving in the, the last few months is that it should well be in reach. So it is only a matter of time before we basically get close to 70 and uh, we have basically broken we have tested these and broken these previous highs prior to the coronavirus so this is a market that is extremely bullish in a, an economy or a world economy that is doing really really badly so most of this is probably due to expectations that the world economy is going to go back to normal so you could see a massive slump in this market um, at any point, to, to, uh, to be very honest. But here we just look at the technical indicator. So uh, we are getting very close to the top of the Bollinger Band. And last time we did that, we basically broke towards the middle. So 20 exponential is holding significantly, uh, is significant support. So uh, you can see it here, here, and here, and here. So every time we get close to the 20 exponential, it rallies to the upside. Technical indicators, they are all fairly flat at this point, except for the stochastic that is bullish. So, uh, yes, let's look at natural gas. So natural gas fell really hard on Friday. We are approaching the lower part of the Bollinger Band, which is at uh, 2.5665 and the 200 moving average here at 2.5178. So both the Bullinger Band, lower part of Bollinger Band and the 200 moving average will offer support as we saw back here it offered a fair amount of support and if we bounce from here then we are going to test the 50 and the 200 and then the 20 exponential moving average just above technical indicators are very negative for for natural gas we are getting very close to being oversold so expect a pullback when you get close to the 200 moving average as we did see back in in december so let's look at copper. How is that copper? Yes, so copper, we had a really nice rally at the end of the session on Friday. So it basically fell towards the middle of the Bullinger Band here at 4.05 and then rallied, creating this inward, this hammer here. And this is basically people pushing the, mar the, the market higher and uh, because there is no, it is basically uh, um, is so um, basically overbought. You can say it did in the in the uh, in this session. It is very likely that we'll continue up towards the highest here at four point three two eight seven. 
a break below the, the 20 exponential uh, that opens the door to the 50 and we have not seen a move like that basically since over here that was basically in the beginning of february since then we rallied to the upside broke towards the 20 exponential and now it looks like we are ready to rally yet again towards the 4.3277 um, area taking indicators they are turning around to the upside so let's look at gold so gold got really hardly hit on the uh, in uh, on friday session and then rallied yet again so the 20 exponential is the is significant resistant for this market we will see eventual rallies towards the 20 exponential but you can see that all of them have been sold into in the last few few months actually technical indicators they are fairly mixed macd just crossed the signal line so it indicating bullish momentum however we are underneath zero so we're in a negative trend so Stochastic is bullish, the CCI is becoming is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So trade here, it is most likely going to be sold into when we rally towards the middle, uh, the 20 exponential. That is most likely what is going to happen. Major support is down here at 1665 at this current stage. So let's look at silver. Silver has uh, rallied up towards the 50 moving average and got rejected on Thursday. And then it fell quite heavily on, on Friday and then rallied a little bit. We're still underneath the, uh, the price level of Thursday. Technical indicators, they are, well, negative. And they are, are very bearish at this point. And the rejection here at the 50 moving average should be a very big warning for this market that we could tumble towards the 200 moving average and also probably break the 200 moving average gold usually leads the way and gold is leading the way to basically south at this point so let's look at platinum so platinum did rally up towards the middle of the bullish band and then broke down and then rallied yet again technical indicators are are uh, fairly mixed at this point uh, macd is still it's going it looks like it's going to cross this line but it is still bearish stochastic is bullish the cci is bearish and the rsi is flat at this point the lower part of the bullish trend was the major support down here at 11 and 15 and we have the highs here of 13 19. we're technically right in the middle of things so pull back towards the 50 that probably will be uh, where this will rally break above this candlestick here that will open the door to these highs so let's look at pallium. So pallium is trading at the high zero 2.5, the lows of 2.1 or the 200 moving average of 2.253. We are right in the middle of things, just above the 50 moving average. So at this point, it looks like we are going to rally towards the highs of 2.5. Technical indicators are all turning around for, for pallium, but I would not trade this uh, if, it is basically right in the middle. I would only trade it at the top or at the very bottom because there is the lowest risk and and the highest return for this for this um, for pallium. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is looking uh, more interesting because we have uh, pulled back from the middle of the Bollinger Band here. Uh, technical indicators are still they are not looking very good. So we had this massive rally up towards uh, 2.211, then broke down quite aggressively and then rallied yet again. And now we're uh, right back at where we found support the last time or the 20 moving average right at the at the middle of the bullish band. Technical indicators, they are, well, flat or bearish at this point. MACD is bearish, RSCA, uh, stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. It is basically flat at this point. Uh, rallies from here that will most likely target these upside break below the 20 exponential opposite door to the 50 at the 2050. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has basically been hovering around the 200 moving average now for a very long time. It is uh, at this point uh, unclear where we are technically going. Technical indicators are either very bearish or flat so rsi is on the edge of being oversold and it's flat at this point 
Stochast uh, CCI is basically flat, the stochastic is flat, and the MACD is very, very uh, bearish at this point. But we, are, we haven't tested the 200 moving average yet. We got close here on basically on Tuesday, and uh, since then we have just gone back and forward. Uh, the 20 moving average is moving this way, and it will probably be a, a, a rally towards the 20 exponential that will basically say whether or not we are going to break further down or if we continue to the upside. At the moment, it is fairly unclear. Break below the 200 moving average, that opens the door basically the full case to a much, much lower levels. We can look at a Fibonacci retracement for this. It is all the way down here to the very highs. And you can see that the 50 is right here at the 200 moving average. So you have the 200 moving average, the bullish band, and the 50 Fibonacci retracement right around this area here. So that should be significant support. Break below this opens the door to 14,320. So let's look at sugar. So sugar also rallied, broke down significantly, and is now trading underneath the 50 moving average. Um, the 20 exponential is mostly going to cross the 50 moving average, and that is going to get the, push this market even lower. So there's a lot of room to the downside still. There's far uh, uh, quite a gap between price levels now and the bottom of the bullish band, so it could drop significantly further. Rally above the 50 and the 20 that could send this market to these very highs again. At, but at this point, technical leaders are either bearish like the MACD or significantly or basically flat as the other indicators. So it's not very clear where we are going with this market at this current stage. So let's look at, at cotton. So cotton has uh, rallied from the 50 moving average. Um, above the 20 and then broke down heavily on Friday and then rallied above the 50, the 20 exponential right again. Technical indicators are either bearish, like the MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, and the other two, CCI and the RSI, are flat at this point. Break above the middle of the bullish band probably will send this market to the very highs of the bullish band. Break below the 20 exponential will most likely retest the 50 moving average as we did here and then most likely rally. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa is yet again all over the place. Uh, we have the highs here at 2.8, lows here at 2.2, and then right in the middle 2.6 and 2.3. We are basically hovering right above the 20 exponential. I would say far away from this market because it is basically all over the place. It's a pure gamble just to trade this. So let's look at wheat. So wheat uh, continues to break down. Um, so uh, we can set it on, on on Wednesday when we were basically right here in the middle. That is fairly unclear where we were basically going. Well, Tuesday and Friday basically showed where we were going. We were going to, to the, basically south. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point. We'll find resistance right here at uh, 300, uh, 632. And that's also where we have found uh, support in the past. So this area here should be um, of interest. So we can, we can write it here. This is basically the highs and the lows. And you can see how often we have tested this area here, just uh, underneath the, the Bollinger Band. So we could be just trending sideways and getting back towards the bottom of the, this trend before we go back to these previous size of 680 plus. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.